Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I was about to say Jam Code Project, damn, I ain't getting bad at this. Uh, so yes, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, and today we're going to be doing work on the All Items Project. Um, I have a very long time today, so I'll probably get a lot of it done. So, what we did before is... Well, basically, somewhere around here, I think it was just right over here, um, we had an entrance to... Yeah, we had an entrance right here. Um, I'm surprised I found this. And we were going to dig pretty far down and then have like a long hole full of, full of um, stuff, but that never happened because... Uh, well, because it was a bit too far from the base and also wasn't very interesting. So what I think I want to do is I want to build it on a kind of flat sort of area. Uh, I don't want it to be like too far from base. I want it to be pretty close, so like around here. This like this would be perfect if it wasn't um, so hilly. Um, and over here would be a little too far going in that direction and I could build on the desert there, but I don't want to build in a desert. That's another problem. Um, still having FPS issues, as I mentioned in the last episode. And uh, yeah, basically we need to find a place to build this thing. Um, I'm, I am thinking of just flattening all of that there. So that's what I'll probably do. Um, it'll take a little bit of time. It'll, yeah, I'll flatten all of this and we'll It'll be a big building. Um, what I'll need to do is I'll need to figure out how many items there are in this game uh, that we can get in survival mode. And then I'll place them all there into like item frames and stuff. And it'll be cool, I think. So yeah, I'll get on with some work. It'll probably be hours before my next clip. Okay, so I just did some quick maths. I looked at an int it's a creative inventory, and there are 779 items that are counted which are obtainable in survival. I think that, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make 780 spaces. I don't know what that can divide into, um, but I'll make 780 spaces in total. Um, I'm probably just going to do like 78 long by 10 wide or something like that. Um, or maybe I could even do like whatever is by 20 wide, whatever half 78 by 20 wide. I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm looking for for space allocations. So now I just need to decide how big I want to make the building be. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Well, 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 looks like I found a place to build my little project here. Well, it's actually absolutely massive. But yeah, I'm gonna build it over here. I'm gonna just flatten this area a little bit. Um, I, I did start blowing some stuff up there that was like quite a long time ago. I wanted to make a Goldberg, Goldberg machine or whatever it is. Rude Goldberg machine, yeah. I wanted to build one and never never got around to it. So I'm just gonna dig this all up and gonna make this all flat and then I guess we'll build here. I, I really didn't want to build it in the desert, but I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Won the Hobbit and the Battle of Five Armies later, and here we are. <laughs> Boy, this took some time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're ready to build here now, so you might guess what about that. Alright, so I did a little bit of building here. Um, I'm very limited on Prismarine and Quartz, so this isn't for definite, because if I decide to build with the Prismarine, I'll need to build a Guardian farm next which I do not have time for today, so we wouldn't have time to build. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I want to kind of have something to do with quartz maybe. I, I, I'm not sure maybe concrete would work better than quartz, but I kind of like quartz a bit more. Um, if you could have quartz, chisel quartz stairs, that would be pretty great. Let me try actually. Um, no, I don't have enough, never mind. Um, oh yeah, I do. Can you have chisel cord stairs? No, that's just cord stairs. Okay, that sucks. Um, so yeah, have some kind of nice arches going on here. Uh, I'm gonna put, I would put glass here, like some kind of gray maybe. Um, 
and if I was to have this normal prismine color here then it's going to be changing color if I was to have normal then it would be a bit boring but if I was to do this design here um, with some stairs prismarine stairs then I would definitely go with this on the floor because to like spice it up a bit and if I go with prismarine here on the floor rather than stairs I'll go with prismarine bricks under the glass and yeah I think I want to have uh, see lanterns for where I'm going to put the item frames with all the items and blocks and all that and each one of these takes up about one two three four five six seven eight nine by seven nine by seven um, and it can do ten items and we need seventy eight of those in total which I think is doable here. I might need to expand further that way, but that's not, not a problem. It's expanding this way because this is like tall and there's lo loads of stuff there, but that way wouldn't be too much of a problem. And like we can probably fit two more this way before we have an entrance here of some kind. And then if I was to guess, we could fit, like I, I would obviously move that. I wouldn't just keep building from there. I could probably put one, two, three, I could probably fit four or five widthways here so that would be pretty good um so i'd already be 50 so i don't need to do a, about 15 more of those going that ways um which shouldn't be too much of a problem i think so yeah that's all cool um yeah th this will probably take a long long time to do <laughs> um so how about we go start collecting the items we need for this I started doing that a very long time ago, but ne never really got around to it. Uh, so it's probably around time that we do so. Maybe I'll place a chest down here or something to keep these items, these building blocks here, I mean. Because um, those are quite expensive and those are my only ones in the whole world. Okay, so clearly I'm not gonna be able to build the whole thing today. Um, I guess it'll just be something I work off on camera and I'll show you whenever I'm, I actually get done But I have a, a few chests here. I need 14.4 something like that double chests To get every single item that I'm planning to store. I'm not like storing like every single potion type or every single like I don't know thing you can do with a banner or something. No, I'm just gonna like do For potions. I'm not even gonna do a potion. I'm just gonna like do a water bottle, an awkward potion, a mundane potion, thick potion, empty bottle, and that's it pretty much for potions, for example. And the banner is like just one color of each banner, I guess. And same with like other colored things, glass, wool, carpet, etc. Um, so yeah, this all should be enough. Uh, there's 54 things per double chest and I need, I have 16 double chests and I need 14.4 something-ish and uh, yeah this should be a plenty and I'm only really gonna need one of everything so what I'm gonna be doing I, th I think what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be organizing it by the item ID so what I'll do is I'll bring up a sheet whenever I get to actually putting it all in here I'll put in I'll put it in the order of the item ID um, so I think something like stone and dirt are first which makes sense to me because those are like the first few things that have been added to the game. Um, and I'm just gonna do more building off camera here. I'll decide what I want to do here. Maybe I won't even go with this style, but I really do like this style. I just don't have enough resources to really get it done. Uh, so yeah, let's start collecting a few things here. All right, so we're actually gonna be doing it a little bit differently. Um, what we're gonna do is Wait, is that another thing? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, instead of looking at the item IDs, basically they abandoned item IDs a while ago now. And so basically that will work for all the new items since they abandoned them. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna do them in the way that they're sorted in the creative inventory when you click on the search bar. And I saw stripped wood, um, but I don't know how to get stripped wood. Not the stripped logs, the stripped wood. So I'll have to quickly check how to get that. 
All right, so what you do is you make them into these things. So I'll do that for all of them uh, because I need all of them anyway. And so you get the log strip logs from doing it on the logs and you get the strip by doing it on these log things. Um, I really don't like how you only get three out of four. I think I might like download a data pack or something that will make it four because then that's fair. Um, so yeah, I need one of each stripped. Um, doesn't really matter what order, but I'm, I just want to keep try keep them in order here. Um, so just do that, and that's all of them stripped now. Uh, so we can put these in here somewhere. Uh, I think the logs ones are first. So what we'll do is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can do th these here. Strips. Dark oak is last, so that would go there. Um, second to last. Birch is third. Spruce. Blah blah blah. Can I not do oak? Where's oak? I thought I did oak. Ah! Am I blind? Can I not see it? Oh, I replaced it. Oh my god. Okay. That tells me I need to go to sleep soon. And then the rest we do as logs. Um, so, just do these. Um, these are in order, I think. Um, and what I think I'll do is I'll place them into item frames because even though like that will cause like tremendous amounts of lag having that many tile entities in one area, I think it would be better that way because some some things will not be able to be placed in real world, like a sword, for example, will not be able to be placed unless it's an armor stand. But then I'd have to get armor stands and they're also tile entities um, and also they by default armor stands don't hold items they only hold armor so yes this is what we have so far this is these are like the very basic things in Minecraft so it starts with stone blah 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 and it goes like so I need red sand here um, if bedrock is a if you're able to get bedrock somehow in survival I don't know how you do it pretty sure it's not possible hence no one's done it before but if, if it is possible I'll I'll sure be able I'll sure I will sh be sure to add it to here every block I can get in survival I will put in apart from some items like for example shulker boxes like I'm not going to bother with colored shulker boxes just a normal shulker box and I'll be good with that because you know shulker boxes are pretty expensive and you know kind of rare so I won't bother and like, I won't bother with getting all the mob heads, for example. Um, like, I won't bother with like a zombie head, probably, or skeleton head. I'll get a creeper head and a wither skeleton head, and and dragon head, obviously. But I won't bother with like zombie heads, spider heads, whatever else you can get from blowing up trash creepers because that would just be a pain. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, I still need to add these. Uh, I don't know where they go. Uh, let me just quickly check. Yes, so these just go into the same order here. So just place them right underneath these and it all works out, which is perfect. And I have one of these left for nothing, basically. And that's good. So we've got basically a full chest here now. I don't remember what goes here. Um, I think this is iron ore, gold, no, gold or iron or coal ore. And then here is red sand, and I forgot what that one is. Uh, so yeah, I'll be getting those into place. Um, I don't know if I had firework rockets in there, in my list. That's why I'm gonna be, I'm gonna add a few more spaces in case by the time that we finish this world by episode 100, episode, um, episode, um, version 1.14, Oh my god, I cannot speak. 1.15 comes out and they add new blocks and stuff. I'll just add like a few more spaces of this into this whole thing for expansion. If I So if I would need any more space, I could do it quite easily. 
And yeah, I think that's about it. I'll I'll see what I can do off camera. I mean, I did flatten this whole place, kind of. Let me show you how much sand I got. But yeah, that took like two hours, two hours and a half maybe, um, somewhere between that, those time frames. But yeah, um, I have got all of this, all the sand and sandstone you see, I just I got just now from this little mining thing. <laughs> Like, I have sand for days now. If only I had this much gravel to go with it for uh, concrete and stuff, that would be great. But yeah, I now have pretty much infinite sand. Oh my god, that says a lot. And my tools have suffered quite a lot. I'll have to repair those. I repaired them a few times already, but I'll have to repair them again. And yeah, I hope this area is big enough. I'll, if if not, it's going to be quite easy to move, to move that way. There's not very much in this direction to move. Um, just this small hill here. That that will take barely five minutes, may, maybe at all, if that. So yeah, that's gonna be about it for today. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out. And have a good day. Bye bye.